This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, friends. Welcome to GoOnlineTrainings.com. We are talking about uh, business integrity. Right? So today, let us talk about uh, keys. Okay, let me show you a table. I have an employee table. So employee ID, employee name, employee passport number, employee driving license number. I have some data stored in the table, right? So I, I wanted to get, I wanted to get unique row from the table unique row from the table so let me tell you what is the key first okay then we'll talk about this example so what is the key key means key means which is an attribute it's 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 recording it's so what is that question, Manisha? Yeah, Manisha, ping me in my WhatsApp number today without fail, okay? I will be sending the videos, okay? Just ping me now itself, okay? Yeah. Or mail me. Yeah. Key means which is an attribute or multiple attributes, okay? Key means which is an attribute or multiple attributes using which using which any one can retrieve anyone can retrieve a single instance from from the group of instances. Okay. So this is what is called a key according to the RDBMS. Key means which is an attribute. Attribute means what? Attribute means column. Clear? So when you go to this table, employee ID is an attribute. So in the layman understanding, employee ID is a column. Name is a column. Passport number is a column. Driving license number is a column. Column means attribute. Remember. Clear? So RDBMS has different name. Okay. So let us understand what the RDBMS says. And in the regular way, how can we say? So in the in RDBMS, we will be calling entities. Okay. But in the daily, you know, in the layman perspective, entity means a table. Okay. So RDBMS says we have a lot of entities. People will say we have a lot of tables. Each and every entity will have lot of columns. So we are going to be saying attributes and they'll be calling them as an attribute, okay? Attribute means what a table. Uh, sorry, attribute means what columns. Entity means what a table. Entities means tables. Attribute means columns. So people will be calling entity instance. Clear. So this is what is called a row or we'll say a record. A row or a record. So people will say, I have a lot of records in my table. Records means rows. I have a lot of entity instances in my table. That means a lot of rows are available in this table. Entity instance means row. Clear. So RDBMS, you know, words are like this entities, attributes, entity instances. Clear. So tables, so columns, and row or record. Clear? So key means which is an attribute, means it is a single column or multiple columns using which anyone can retrieve a single instance from the group of instances. So this is what is called a key. Let me give you a simple example. Uh, there is a big auditorium. A show is going on. A big you know, function or get together is going on. So I wanted to, you know, give an award to one of the students. The student got scored maximum marks in the class. Okay, there are some thousands of students. I wanted to invite him to the stage and uh, give him a prize or, you know, give him the award. 
so i am taking the mic and i am saying hey john please come to the dais and collect this award so when i say john i have thousands of students so there are lots of johns are available at least 10 20 johns came to the dais sir are you calling me sir are you calling me so they were asking me like this i got confused to whom i need to give so i said sorry 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 please go back let me call once again so second time instead of guys please mute guys please mute yeah second time instead of using a name what i said what i said hey student number ready you need to mute parandham ready please mute yeah please mute guys okay yeah so second time instead of using a name what is what i used student number one two three four student number one two three four please come to the dais and take this award so now i got only one john clear even though i have thousands of students in the class when i say student number one two three four please come to the dais and collect the gift i got only one guy am i clear so using which attribute i am able to get only one guy even though i have thousands of students that attribute is called as a key attribute so i can say student id would be a key attribute but not the name or i can use their passport number passport number one two three one two three seven so whoever is having this passport number please come to the dais and take this award so i'll get again same john or i say phone number who's having nine double zero double zero one two three four five six so whoever is having this number please come to the dais and collect this gift so you may use you know student number or employee number or passport number or social security number or driving license number whichever is the attribute column attribute means what column that you are using to connect to get a single student from the group of instance that column is called as that attribute is called as a key attribute key column am i clear so now we are talking about employee id student number passport number driving license number all these are called as a key he means there is no duplicate data in that column so you cannot have a duplicate number in the employee id you cannot have a duplicate passport number you cannot have a duplicate unique number so key means which does not allow duplicate value which should not have any you should not have any duplicate value there what about name your number could be different but you know your, your name could be the same right so whatever be the column that you are using that you are saying as a key columns group of key columns are called as candidate keys clear so these are the good candidates to become a key why because they don't allow duplicates phone number cannot be duplicated right your phone number is unique my phone number is unique your email address is unique my email address is unique your employee id is unique my employee id is unique your passport number is unique my passport number is unique so these are called key columns clear so key columns means any key which is not having a duplicated data that column can become a key okay what is the purpose of a key just now i told you what is the purpose to retrieve a single student even though you have millions of records and rows even though you have millions of records and rows in the table but using this number you should be able to get only your row for example i go to my bank and bank executive never ask you tell me your name i can tell you your you know clear balance so name is not a key column you will you will have lot of Haskar jogis lot of stanleys lot of davids right lot of peters so using a name getting the balance is very very difficult what will they ask they'll ask tell me your account number 
so you'll say my account number is one two three four then your balance is let us say thousand dollars why are they asking you the account number instead of the name because to retrieve your number they cannot use your name clear so to identify a single row to identify a single row always we deal with a key columns only so if you say i don't remember my account number then they'll ask you tell me your social security number at least or tell me your pan card number or tell me this number tell me that number so one of the numbers you should be able to tell them so that they can retrieve your record or the row am i clear so you can use employee id as a key column name is a non key column non key attribute so which can have duplicated data passport number is a non key column driving license number is a non uh, it is a key column okay table will have two types of columns one is called key columns the second one is called non key columns clear so what is a key key means which does not allow duplicate data it is called as a key what is the purpose of a key okay so so in simple word what is a key what is a key means in simple words instead of saying this big thing we can say now what is a key key means key is an attribute which does not allow duplicate values that's it okay so duplicate values this is the key but what is the purpose of a key that is very important purpose is something different why key or what is the purpose of a key to retrieve retrieve the single instance i told you right instance means what lot of rows are available lot of students are available but when i announced the student number in the mic i am able to get only one guy so to retrieve the single instance we must have a key okay a table can have a lot of keys all those keys are called as a candidate key clear so which does not allow any kind of a duplicates all keys are called as grouped together called as a candidate key candidate key means which is a key normally which does not allow any duplicate data clear so that's what you need to understand now within the candidate keys i have to identify what is the primary key okay so if it is the employee table employee id would be the primary key remaining remaining you know key columns are called as alternate keys that means if this is not there then you can use that as well clear so in a student table student id would be the primary key in passport applications passport number would be primary key in banking websites or banking you know applications softwares you know account number is the primary key in your social security you know cards and everything social security number would be a primary key right if you book a order in your amazon.com a transaction number would be or a billing number would be or invoice number would be a primary key because every bill is unique every invoice is unique right bill number invoice number are unique so those are called primary keys clear so you have employee id is a primary key but what about passport number driving license number those are called unique keys now what is the candidate key candidate key is equivalent to primary key plus alternate key so this is what you need to understand all of them are keys only all of them will not allow any data any duplicated data now what is the candidate key the simple expression example is primary key plus alternate key is called you know candidate key what is the primary key let us see ensures uniqueness primary key means what ensures uniqueness means no duplicate data is allowed inside that column clear if you give the 
duplicate data, a SQL server will say because validation will be done by a SQL server. You are saying employee ID is a primary key. When you say primary key, SQL server, SQL server, Oracle, MySQL, any RDBMS will not allow duplicate entries there. No nulls are allowed. Automatically, a clustered index gets created. Automatically, a clustered index gets created. What is an index? Why index? All these things we are going to learn later. So as of now, no worry about what is a clustered index. Just remember this point and leave it. Only one primary key we can have per table. We can also have composite primary key. What is a composite primary key? We'll discuss. Primary key is not mandatory. It is recommended. Clear? If you have a primary key in the table that is recommended, but it is not mandatory. Okay, it is not compulsory, you know, to have a primary key in the table. But if you have a primary key that is useful to you. Clear, guys? So this is what is called a primary key. Now, what is a uh, unique key? Unique key means alternate keys are called as unique keys so let me say rdbms says alternate keys okay rdbms says alternate keys in the daily uses we will be calling this as a unique keys okay in rdbms we will be calling as a primary keys in the softwares also we will be calling this as a primary key only so there is no difference in the primary key, but entity means tables, attributes means columns, entity instance means a row or the record, and alternate keys are called unique keys, and primary keys are called as primary keys. So these are so this is RDBMS concept. Okay. But in the daily daily routines, routine means in the softwares, in the RDBMS tools I'm talking about. Okay. So we'll say create a table, create a column, insert a row, update a row, you know, create a unique key, create a primary key. So unique key means it is called as a alternate key. Remember this. Clear? So candidate key is equivalent to primary key is equivalent to primary key plus we can say unique key. Unique. Okay. So unique key are called as alternate key. Both of them are synonyms. So alternate key is equivalent to unique key only. So don't get confused. Okay. One table can have one primary key, but many unique keys will be there. Okay. So ensures uniqueness allows only one null value. Remember this primary key does not allow any null value, but unique key in a given column. In a given unique key column, you can have only one null value, not more than that. So auto creation of an index, many unique keys per table can be there. You can also have a composite unique keys. Also, what is a composite unique key? We'll discuss. Now, compulsorily, you should know this primary key versus unique key. Primary key, it does not allow null values. Unique key, it allows only one null, null, one null value per column. Only one primary key per table, many unique keys per table or many alternate keys per table. It creates a clustered index. It creates a non-clustered index. Clear? Very, very, very important slide for the interview questions. Okay? Compulsorily, this question will come up in your interview. Tell me, what is a primary key? or what is a key, what is a candidate key. So all these are called as, you know, important interview questions. What is a key which does not allow duplicated data is called as a key. What is a candidate key? Collection of key columns are called as candidate keys. Clear? And what is a primary key? A primary key is does not allow any null value, only one primary key per table. So it is, you know, it creates a clustered index. And what is a unique key? It will allow only one null value. You can have many unique keys per table. It does not allow duplicated data. It creates a non-clustered index. You can have only one primary key per table, but you can have many 
unique keys are called as alternate keys per table am i clear but what is composite key i was talking about composite key composite key right so so what is a composite key let me write what is a composite key a key which has multiple attributes okay called as called as composite key remember this word very very important what is a composite key a key which has multiple attributes <clears throat> A key which has multiple attributes called as composite key. Let me give you one beautiful example to understand what is a composite key. For example, I have a gated community. I have a big location where thousands of flats are built. Okay, this is my community. I have lot of you know flats are available. So it is like this. I have a block number A. This is a block A or tower number A, tower number B, tower number C. Like that, I have a lot of towers. And let us say tower number uh, Z. Okay, so all these are called as towers. Tower number A, then I'm talking about tower number B, then tower number C. Like that, you have a lot of towers in this gated community. So that tower number is called Z. So each tower has a lot of you know houses and one to hundred. Okay, so one to hundred houses are there everywhere. So in this also we have one to hundred. In this also we have one to hundred. In this tower also we have one to hundred. Now I have invited you all, been invited for a party. Okay, so I told. My my house number is fifty five. Please come to my home tomorrow. We can have a party. Okay, so you know that a house number fifty five. Then you came and uh, you are talking to the security. Okay, I told you clearly. Hey guys, come to my house tomorrow at eight pm. We are going to be having. We are going to be having a party. So you came and the security is asking. Tell me that tower number. So you have only house number because every tower has house number fifty-five. This guy is asking. Tell me. Tell me. You were. Uh, this is security standing here somewhere here. He is asking you. Tell me. Security is asking you. Tell me the house number. House number fifty-five. Okay. Tell me tower number. You don't have any knowledge. So what will you do? You also call me and ask me, sir. I got you know. I told him fifty-five, but is asking me tower number as well. So sometimes, with the help of only one attribute, identification is very very important, very difficult. Tower number plus house number, both of them you need to give. Mine is a tower number K, house number fifty-five. Clear to identify Bhaskar Jogi. You cannot say only the house number. You must say my tower number as well. I wanted to visit Baskar Jogi, so you should know tower number as well as house number. So this is what is called is. So this is a un unique combination, right? So this is what is called composite key. Okay, this is what is called composite key. Composite key means a key which has multiple attributes. So this is one attribute. And this is one more attribute, right? This is one attribute, and this is one more attribute. So this is how you should be able to get the things done. Clear? So if you were to create a table, how you can create a table? I show you. Okay? So this is all customers of the flats. So how the table structure would be? You will have a tower number. You will have a house number. You have a name of the customer, customer phone number. So this is how you are going to be creating a table. Now tower number A, house number one. Let us say Stanley is here. 
okay some phone number now tower number a house number two we have let us say mac is here okay with some phone number and tower number a house number three let us say nilpa is here clear nilpa is having unique phone number and tower number a house number four we have uh, pratyusha here right pratyusha is here so like that we have some date right tower number a house number five we have priyanko here right so you can have a unique number but if you see duplicate data is available if you see duplicate data up to you will have a hundred afterwards again b starts b1 again b2 right if you see lot of duplicated data you can have it here and you can have a lot of duplicate one and one is available but if you see the combination if you see this combination this is what is called unique record this is one unique this combination should not be getting repeated anywhere so put together so this is one attribute this is one attribute this is one more attribute put together so this will be calling as a composite primary key okay composite primary key this is only one primary key but one primary key has two attributes you cannot say these are two primary keys according to our understanding a table can have only one primary key you cannot have two governments in india or in america right either this government or that government any one go one government has to be there but one government may have a lot of parties right if there is no proper support to, to any government so two parties will collate or combined and they they will be creating a government anyway right so so now what happens these are not, these are two columns but these are combinedly combinedly created as a composite primary key okay so this could be a unique key unique key are called as a alternate key so that means what so one primary key and we can also have a lot of unique keys phone number email address and pan card number social security number lot of other columns may be there all these are called as what candidate uh, all these are unique keys am i clear so no part of the primary key because the primary key is not one year primary key is one but the primary key is made up of more than one column hence this is called as a composite primary key you can also have composite unique key that means key could be a single column key key could be multiple column key as well clear when the key has multiple columns that key is called as a at you know composite primary key if you have multiple attributes the key is called as a multiple you know the key is called as composite key now so if you see you may have a lot of duplicates here if you see a lot of duplicates here but if you see the combination it is unique okay so no part of the primary key should have an all you cannot say this is also one more record you cannot say i will have a z and or i will uh, let me have a and let me have the null so no part of the primary key will allow null remember this point people would ask you this question in the interview okay this is also one more unique combination this is also one more unique combination can we have null in any one of the composite primary key the answer is no no part of the primary key should allow null so these are completely a wrong entries clear so this combination should not get re you know, repeated clear so these are the things you must understand a table can have normal primary key a single column it can be a primary key or sometimes a table cannot have a single column as a primary key then you need to look for one more attribute or one more attribute and create a one more pri a composite primary key over there let me give you one more example okay now 
So I gave you one example is example number one is tower number plus house number. So this is a composite key. Let me give you one more example. I wanted to go to international school. I wanted to, you know, talk to principal or I would like to, you know, have a meeting with the principal. Then principal asked me, uh, what is the uh, what is the class in which your student is, your you know, daughter or you know, son is studying? So I need to say class number plus I say which session is into session and or section whatever they have they have sections right sections let me say sections what is the section number and what is the role number of your kid so i'll say my kid is in third standard section b and role number let us say 17. to identify my kid i have to tell three things if i say role number Section A, you have 1 to 20 rule number students. Section B has again 1 to 20 section. Again, every class will have, you know, a lot of sections, right? So first class, A section, B section, C section. Second class, A section, B section, C section. So people would ask you, the student principal or the security at the school will ask you, tell me the class number, tell me the section number, Tell me the rule number. If you say, I don't remember exactly, then definitely or it is very, very difficult to identify your kid. Clear? If they have something else, we can say that number. But if they don't have the other number, so you need to give these three pieces information to the, the security. Then only the security can identify your kid exactly. Otherwise, not. Clear? So now, class number plus section number plus rule number called or it is a composite key composite primary key so clear so what is a key what is a key key means a key which does not allow duplicates is called as a, a key collection of keys are called as collection of key columns are called as candidate keys collection of key columns are called as candidate keys Mahesh Babu, can you hear me so what is the difference between candidate key and composite key? What is a key? Key means a column which does not allow any duplicated data. That is what is called as a key column. So collection of keys are called as candidate keys. Clear? Now, tower number alone is not a key. Okay, why right? tower number is not a key? Because you have duplicated data. Clear? So please mute. And house number is not a key column at all, but combination is a key column. Try to understand. So it is not a key column at all. Tower number is not a key. If somebody says tower number is a key, then that guy is failed already because tower number is allowed to duplicate data. It is not a key column. House number is not a key column. Okay, but this is it can form a key because A1, A2, A3 is a unique combination. So this is what is called one primary key it is composite key and this is what is called one unique key what is the candidate key candidate key means primary key prime means curve this is this two are under one primary key clear so this is one primary key and this is one unique key so what is the candidate key candidate key is equivalent to is equivalent to what primary key plus unique key now, primary key is made up of two attributes, T number plus house number. Clear? So, unique key is having only one single column. So, this is what is called a phone number. Clear? Now, what is a candidate key? Candidate key means a primary key plus unique key. Primary key here is a composite primary key. Clear? Why composite primary key? which is having which is having what more than one column this is a single column it is what is composite primary key clear so any any key which has multiple attributes any key which has multiple attributes is called as a composite key clear so you this is not a key tower number is not a key if you say tower number is a key 
then you did not understand the things clearly clear tower number is not a key house number is not a key why because you have duplicates but combination is a unique clear so remember this point he is a candidate key allows null value what is a candidate key saujanya what is a candidate key candidate key means collection of key columns collection of key columns is called as a, this one so in the collection you may have a primary key you may have a alternate key right right so candidate key is what candidate key is a collection of primary key and collection of this one so if it is a primary key it will not allow null value if it is unique key it will allow null value clear saujanya correct clear at now so what is the what is the primary key primary key will not allow null value unique key will allow somebody is unmuting to unmute that ah sir uh, yes. uh, please candidate key is a combination of uh, primary two key and unique two keys hmm 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 okay yeah uh then in the uh, we the, the so tower number and house number need not to be with the primary keys in this case tower number house number put together a composite primary key i told you right primary key only it is but made up of two columns clear okay 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 the combination of the record should not be null unique yeah, yeah. It, should, it should be unique and it should not have nulls in this in this case okay then it should be um, uh, okay composite key okay sir clear he, he, in this you can have one null value if you wanted to have you can right. have one null value here we can have sonia or hamant hamant doesn't have anything so you cannot have one more null here but here there is no null at all clear so what is a primary key what is a primary key primary key means it should not allow null value it should not allow a duplicate value what is a unique key unique key will have only one null value and the other values are unique no duplicates clear one table can have one primary key the primary key can be made up of a single column primary key can be made up of a multiple columns it doesn't matter but it is a single primary key if you say the table is having two primary keys then your interview is over then people will say no problem we'll we, we'll call you for the next next round or we'll say hr will call you right so you cannot have more than one primary key per table so it is a single primary key made up of what two attributes i'll give you one more example i have prepared one nice dish food dish okay one dish and i have taken potato so i have taken one more food dish second food dish and made up of let us say brinjal so how many dishes this is one dish this is one dish clear so this is one dish this is one dish and i am creating one more dish one more food dish this is having potato plus tomato plus i have some other things cabbage now tell me total how many dishes we have one dish one vegetable one dish one more vegetable one dish three vegetables you cannot say these are three dishes so this is one dish but multiple vegetables this is one primary key multiple attributes one dish multiple attributes clear one one dish only but the multiple items are mixed together potato plus tomato cabbage you cannot say i made three dishes people will laugh at you clear so you can have a single dish with single column clear single dish with what single vegetable or single dish with multiple vegetables still this is a one 
curry or we can say one dish only remember you cannot say these are three dishes people will laugh at you because we have mixed together so this is what is called a single primary key only you cannot say these are two primary keys because table cannot have more than one primary key you can have more alternate keys that's fine clear either a primary key or a unique key so you should not have a duplicate data if you say it is a primary key then it should not allow duplicate data if you say this is one more primary key it should not allow duplicate data we are not saying this is a primary key this is a primary key this is a composite primary key clear two attributes but only one primary key three vegetables but only one dish clear so that is what you need to understand primary key may be a single attribute primary key primary key may be multiple attribute primary uh, primary key and a unique key also may be a single attribute unique key or multiple attribute unique key if it is a multiple attribute unique key that is called as composite unique key am i clear so this is very very important so can we create two or more columns as a primary key yes you can have two columns here as a primary key this is only one primary key in this example in this example class number section number role number three columns are there it will be part of the primary key okay so one more example let me give you i am in the railway station and one of the guy called me and said sir i wanted to meet you so gopi krishna called me okay sir i wanted to meet you today so i wanted to come and personally meet you i said i am already in the railway station i cannot meet you today no sir it is very very urgent i wanted to meet you i'll come in 10 minutes i am nearby railway station then the first information i i should tell him what is the train number in which i am going clear so i shall i will say this is my train number then after that i should tell him the coach number to identify me then i have to tell him what seat number okay so i say my train number is 1 2 and my seat number my coach number is s12 for example every train has s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 up to s12 so my seat number let us say 12 clear or i can say uh, that is say 43 to identify me i should inform him lot of data otherwise he cannot catch me in the railway station because a lot of trains are there and in which platform he has to go he does not have so he has to first get the you know train number then he will come to the platform number automatically then coach number then come to the s12 then he need to look for me 43 where is this sir clear to identify you can if i say only the seat number my seat number is 22 you can come and identify which seat number which train number is it very easy or if i say coach now if i say only coach number which coach and which train so i need to tell him clearly this is a train where i am sitting and this is the coach coach where i am sitting and this is the seat number where i am available clear so because co each and every bogey or coach will be having so let us say 100 seats so he'll have you know let us say 12 coaches per train clear so to identify bhaskar sir gopi krishna has to get three pieces of information sir which train number you tell me i'm almost there sir I'm, i have reached sir tell me i am in your train tell sir tell me the coach number so i said as 12 okay sir i'm coming then he will ask me sir tell me the seat number as well so that i can exactly can come and attend you because we don't have any time so when you have the either a key column or a composite co key column what is the advantage you can retrieve the customer retrieve the row very very quickly you need not search here and there so you can simply jump from one place to another place one place to another place you need to jump otherwise what you need to do you need to go to train number and look for row by row row by row coach by coach coach by coach it is very very difficult for example police has to you know uh, arrest a thief or robber or a terrorist they they they, they have a clue that is is there in the station 
so every train every train and every coach they are going to scan right so because they don't have a clue where this guy is sitting so that is what is that that is that is not a purpose of a key because you know searching for complete train and coach and everything if we don't have any clue that is the case we need to search row by row row by row row by row it will take lot of issues lot of time to identify the single person but if there is a key column i can easily catch it and get it clear so in this case we can have train number coach number seat number put together this is called as a primary key or it could be a unique key also clear please provide syntax for more columns prime syntax what is syntax i am not teaching now so we will we'll have the syntax later okay how to create a table that we'll see later so did you create did you get what is the primary key what is a for uh, what is a primary key what is a unique key what is a candidate key what is a key so did you understand clearly anyone has any questions uh sir one more question unique key means a which will not allow any duplicate data which will have only one null value sir uh, one more question tell me tell me. yeah uh, we are getting the composite key from the uh, two or more tables right nor tables columns columns Uh, in, a, uh, in the different tables we are getting the composite not, uh, I, 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 never, I never told you listen to me hamant clearly i never told you tables i only told okay. you columns in a single table so this is a single table or multiple table single table yes i never told you this is one table and this is one table clear mm hmm okay primary key is always within the table only you cannot say i have one column in table a i have one more column in table b and the combination should be unique that is completely understanding is completely wrong that is not clear so primary key means within the table only remember always unique key also within the table only am i clear Okay, sir. Okay. Very good. You cannot think of a primary key or unique key using you know multiple tables. No, that is not. That is completely wrong. Key means within the table. Within the table, how can we identify Hammond? Hammond data will be available in the customer table only, right? So we cannot say Hammond uh, data is in some other table, and some other table is having some other data, and that tend this is to put together the primary key. That is completely wrong. A table key will have a primary key. Not you know across tables we are talking about. No, right? Yeah. Key means always remember within the table only any key, whether it is a unique key or a primary key within the single table only you must talk. clear guys any other questions okay now what is the primary key what is the unique key what is the key did you understand clearly if you create a table like this if you create a table like this and you are creating a table for a employee now we need to understand what is the primary key here the primary key is employee id in this example the remaining keys are called what alternate keys clear those alternate keys are called as unique keys what is the difference the difference is very simple we can have only one primary key primary key will not allow duplicate data it does not allow null value you can have many unique keys per table and passport number is one unique key driving license number is one more unique key and employee id will be a primary key unique key will allow nulls so in this column you can have one allow in this column we can have one null value in this column 
also we can have one null value clear so what is the primary key what is the unique key did you understand so collection of a primary key and alternate key primary key plus alternate key is called as a candidate key now a primary key can be made up of a single column alternate key means unique key or can, can be can also be made up of a single column or it can up it can be made up of multiple columns so if you have multiple columns then that is called as a composite primary key or a composite unique key clear these are two separate unique keys it is not a composite unique key try to understand clear so composite primary key made up of more than one column each combination of values must be unique order of the columns in primary key should match the order of the columns as shown in the table no null values allowed as part of any part of the primary key train number coach number seat number tower number house number these are the best examples of uh, the composite primary keys clear guys any other questions so this is the difference between primary key and unique key rarely we get we get the composite primary keys and composite unique keys but maximum 99 percent of the time or at least 95 percent of the time we will have every table will have a primary key so unique key is not mandatory even primary key is also not mandatory but we create a primary key always you know whenever we create a table so create employee id employee name employee salary employee gender employee date of birth employee qualification employee blood group employee height employee weight lot of data the hrd may be collecting it right so what is the primary key employee id what is the unique key here employee email id will be unique key employee phone number will be unique key right so employee passport number in this case is a unique key now you may be creating uh, a customer table for amazon.com so customer id customer name customer phone number customer email id customer id will be the primary key and the customer phone number customer uh, you know email id is unique right so if you give same phone number and it will it will say already this phone number is existing so you need to create a new user id with the help of one more you know phone number or email id so it will not allow duplicate entries even though email id is not a primary key which is a unique key customer id would be the primary key in the amazon customer stable am i clear thank you guys so tomorrow we'll speak about relationships in the tables clear so what are the relationships we have and how to understand relationships is very very important it is called as a cardinality so that we'll see in tomorrow's class any other questions sir uh, sharepoint location sharepoint uh, the link is it who is this i'll send the link yes sir